Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I cannot wait to jump in today's craft because I'm gonna be showing you guys a super fun and easy and quick craft that I have been dying to try. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to sublimate on wood. So if you're curious to see how I made these, then keep watching. So for this craft, you're gonna need a few things. You're going to need whatever wooden blank you're working with. So today I'm using these wooden keychains. You could also use these like for ornaments or something. I got these in a four pack, I think, at Hobby Lobby in their Christmas craft section. They were like 40 or 50% off, something like that. But you can use any wooden blank that you want to as long as you put polycrylic over it, then it is good to sublimate. So I'm just using this regular polycrylic. This is in the clear matte, but you could use whatever finish you wanted to. And then to coat on the polycrylic onto whatever wooden surface you're using, you're obviously going to need some type of brush. I'm using this old paintbrush that I always use for my polycrylic or Mod Podge. But you could use a chippy brush, you could use a sponge brush, whatever you wanted. You just need to coat whatever wooden surface you're using in some polycrylic and then it's okay to sublimate. You're obviously going to need your butcher paper like you would with any sublimation project along with your heat press. Mine is warming up over there. And then obviously you're going to need your sublimation paper. I really like this A Sub Paper brand. I always buy mine off of Amazon. I've tried a couple different brands out there and they weren't terrible. I just always find myself going back to A Sub just because I do get the best results with that. And then obviously you're going to need your sublimation printer. Now this was a regular Epson EcoTank 2760 but I converted it into a sublimation printer. So now this printer is designated solely for any of my sublimation projects. And then at the very end, we're gonna be using some wet paper towels, but you could also use a wet washcloth or whatever you prefer. All right guys, I'm super excited to jump into this, so let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is take off my key ring. Otherwise, we won't be able to lay this flat on our heat press. Okay, so here is our wooden blanks. So now I just have them setting on some paper towel so I can coat them. Okay, and then we're just gonna let these dry for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna flip them over and paint the other side. And then we'll let that side dry for about 30 minutes. Okay guys, so I let completely dry for about 45 minutes and then it was good to go. So then I flipped it and then put a generous coat of the polycrylic on the other side and let that dry for 45 minutes. So I've put one generous coat of polycrylic on both sides and I have let it completely dry and they are ready to sublimate now. So now what we're gonna do is go over to my iPad and print out some designs that we want on some of these. Okay guys, so we are on my iPad and I have already copied um, another template that I've used for like my sublimation car coasters because they are about the same size as these wooden blank rounds. So I went ahead and copied that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that. Now, unfortunately, Procreate doesn't have like, um, like a measurement tool or anything. So sometimes I will have to print this off and it might not be the correct size and I have to adjust it and print it again. So that is probably the biggest downfall for me as far as Procreate goes when I do need something like to be like an exact measurement and I kind of have to guess and hope for the best. Anyway, so here are some circles and I'm hoping that these are gonna be big enough to cover our blank wooden rounds. So now I wanna add my designs to this template. So I'm going to go back to gallery and I'm gonna find some images that I want to use. So this is a design that I made for one of my 20 ounce sublimation tumblers. So since I just pasted it in here, as long as it is above my template that I have for my coasters here, which it is, as you can see here, here's my coasters template. And then here is the image that we just pasted. So now I'm going to make sure that I have this one selected. And then I'm just gonna hit clipping mask. And then as you can see, it clips it to the circle. And from here, you can kind of adjust and move around center if you need to. Okay, 
Okay, so I have my designs all ready to go. So now I'm going to print this and send this to my sublimation printer. So I'm gonna hit share, JPEG, print. Okay, I'm gonna make sure my Epson is selected, which it is. So I'm just gonna hit print and it's gonna start printing over on our sublimation printer. Okay, so we have our designs printed off here. So now I'm just going to let this set for about 10 to 15 minutes so that, that ink can completely dry before we sublimate it. So now that my ink is completely dry, I just like to hold my design in the palm of my hand like so. And then I'm just going to put my wooden blank over my design and kind of center it up where I want my design to be. And then I'm gonna flip it over and lay it flat on my heat press with the design up like that. Now you could use heat resistant tape if you're worried about your design kind of coming loose or shifting on there. I'm not really worried about that. So now I'm just going to fold over my butcher paper or parchment paper. And then I'm going to put my heat press down and I have my temp at 380 and I'm gonna press this for 60 seconds with light pressure. Okay, then I'm gonna lift up my heat press and I'm ready to take out our wooden blanks, except they shouldn't be blanks anymore. Now they should have a design on them. <laughs> be careful because these are going to be extremely hot. So just to show you guys what it does. So it looks like this would be ruined, right? Because of all the white and all that, but that's just paper. And once I wash this off with my wet paper towel or damp washcloth, all of that's gonna come off and it's gonna look perfect. Just trust the process. This one, same thing, it looks ruined, but trust the process. So let me go get our wet paper towels and then I'll show you guys how to clean these up. As you can see here, I have my wet paper towel. Here is our wooden sublimated piece that has some paper or white residue or something on it. So you are just gonna take your damp washcloth or your wet paper towels, whatever you're using, you're literally just going to rub the design till all that white comes off. And voila, there is our sublimated wooden piece. Okay, and same thing for this one. And voila, there is another sublimated wood piece. Looks great. Now from here, you could be done. You could add a coat of Mod Podge to this, or you could just add another coat of the polycrylic to seal this in, but you certainly don't have to. You could just leave it as is. So now I'm just gonna put the key ring back on it. And there we go. Now we have a sublimated wooden keychain. But like I said before, you could take the key ring off and turn this into an ornament with some string. It would also be really cool to make like custom or like personalized ornaments or even keychains. By using sublimation, you could easily put someone's monogram on this or you could put like baby's first Christmas with a picture of the baby or whatever. I think that would be a really cool gift or something. Look how good these turned out, guys. I feel like for the wood not being white and it just sublimating on there, I think the colors came out pretty good. And like I said, I think these would make really cool gifts or if you're offering like personalized or customized keychains or ornaments, these would make a great addition to your inventory. But overall, you guys know that I love a craft that I can start and finish in one day. So I was really excited to try this. I'm so glad that I did. I can't wait to sublimate on more wood blanks, especially with the holidays coming up. Like this is such an easy and quick craft that I can make a ton of gifts for people that are like personalized to them. And I just think that's so awesome. All right guys, so as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. If you like this video, please let me know that you liked it by giving me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any other crafting tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.